Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the third problem of Lit Code Weekly Contest 375, which is count surveys where max element uh, appears at least k times. So the problem statements define the problem itself. So we have to find this, um, the um, uh, surveys in which the maximum element of the array uh, appears at least k times. So this uh, uh, line is important. We have to find the number of surveys where maximum element of the array uh, appears at least k times, not the survey. Okay, so uh, what are the constraints? Constraint is uh, 10 to the power 5. So, uh, possible solution could be of order of in or order of in log in, right? Now, let's uh, discuss one example first. Uh, let's discuss uh, this example 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, and k equals to 2. 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, and k equals to 2. So, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. So, what is the maximum limit of the survey? Um, element of the array maximum element of the array is 3 so we have to find the number of subarrays where 3 appears at least uh, 2 times k equals to 2 here so uh, here you can see this subarray contains 3 to, uh, 2 times this subarray also contains 3 2 times this subarray contains 3 2 times this subarray contains 3 2 times also this thing this thing and this thing so uh, I think uh, one, uh, I think this is included twice. So let's uh, delete this. Let's delete this. So, uh, so what are the possible um, uh, combinations here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So our answer is six here. Uh, here you can see that uh, the possible combinations are 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 3, and 3, 3. Uh, now, uh, what is the brute force solution for this? Let's uh, consider about the brute force solution. So, the, the first step of brute force sol uh, solution will be finding the max. So, we will try to find the max of the survey. Now, we will iterate over uh, every survey and we will try to find the count of max in the survey. Count of max in the survey. If it is greater than equals to k, we will increment our answer. Else, um, we will continue for the next survey. So, our uh, brute force solution time complexity will be order of n square. Now, how we can optimize that? Now, the first observation uh, here we can make is that observation. The first observation will be that uh, the value of the other elements uh, except the maximum element does not matter, right? The value of the other elements except the maximum element doesn't matter. That means 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3 will be uh, having the same answer as 0, 3, 2, 3, 3. Now, the second observation here also is that the value of the maximum element also does not matter. So, 0, 3, 2, 3, 3, 0, 3, sorry, this will be 0. So, 0, 3, 0, 3, 3, 0, this is 0. 0, 3, 0, 3, 3 will be the having the same value as 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, what we will do, we will change uh, every element uh, which is not maximum element to 0. And every element which is maximum element to one. Now after that, uh, the problem becomes the problem becomes uh, find subarrays where subarray sum subarray sum is greater than or equals to k. Yeah, right. So in this uh, uh, array, we have to find the number of subarrays where subarray sum is greater than or equals to k. Now this problem is uh, I think very well known. So for solving this problem, uh, I am using uh, binary search here and the, the uh, time complexity is order of in login. So what we, I am doing, I am building some prefix sum arrays. Uh, I am building some prefix uh, sums. Let's say for zero, this array, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. My prefix sum will be nothing but 0, 1, 1, 2 and 3. Now for every index i, I am trying to find what is the uh, um, maximum, uh, what is the maximum leftmost index. For this right so for this index 2 what is the maximum left uh, left index for this array so the maximum left index for this array will be this one right this one right so uh, for this uh, the left indexes could be this and this so uh, one possible survey will be 0 1 0 1 or one possible survey will be 1 0 1 now for this index, our uh, minimum possible uh, leftmost index will be this 2, right? Because 1 plus 1, 2. So uh, possible values will be 
0111 so uh, there are four here and two here so our answer is six i hope you got it now how, how we are solving this uh, we are solving this uh, let's say we are we are at index uh, i and our p is p is prefix of i now we'll try to find what is the uh, rightmost index of prefix of i minus k plus one now uh, let's say this index is j now there will be j sub -RS. so uh, for uh, the, the fourth index for the, for the fourth index j will be 2 so uh, or, uh, there will be 2 sub -RS, right so let's uh, jump into the code here uh, I am trying to find uh, finding the maximum element of the array now uh, here I am pushing the value uh, in the prefix sub array no, sorry prefix sum array so prefix sum array will contain the large value of prefix sum plus if the uh, current element equals to max c uh, max element then we are adding one or else we are adding zero now we are finding y set left of pre from a prefix minus one minus k plus one here you can also use bisect right or upper bound in c plus uh, plus and you convert this to plus one i think but i am most uh, used to with bisect left that's what i am doing here now we are incrementing the value of j by minus one and if j is greater than equals to zero we are uh, adding j plus one to our answer and at the end we are returning our answer right uh, this part is, uh, if you observe it closely, you will understand why, why we are doing here. The main uh, logic is converting in, uh, into uh, edits with zeros and one and trying to find the prefix sums. Uh, that's the uh, gist of the problem. The other parts are quite simple. Uh, the overall complexity is order of in login. Uh, I think uh, you will understand the explanation in the code. But if you have any doubt in any part of the code or explanation, you can always write in the comment section. I will try to reply each and every comment. I will also provide the link of the code in the description box. If you find this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.